Dad, I didn't think you were still speaking to me after the Valentine's Day fiasco. Well, I am in the mood for a certain type of attorney. I see. Cheap or sneaky? Both of the above. And confidential. Well, Dad, part of what you pay an attorney for is confidentiality. Not that you've mentioned anything about paying me yet. You'll get your normal fee, Mason. I don't know what your current workload is right now, but I'd like you to help me put together this deal to finance that film for Sophia, the one that Stephen Slade wants to do. You're getting into the film business now? Just this once. For Sophia, she must not know about it. Because she'll think I'm doing it for ulterior motives, like uh, trying to keep control over her, trying to keep an eye on her. Hmm. And uh, how wrong would she be if she thought that? Totally. And so would you be, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> All I want is for her to be happy. How much are you thinking of investing? Ten million. That's a lot of happiness. That's peanuts. That's the entire budget. I'm financing the whole film. That's brave of you. Mm -hmm. Or do you not know what a risky business you're getting into? No. I just know that Sophia wants something very badly. This film is very important to her. She feels it'll be a sense of personal satisfaction and accomplishment. And if that's what she wants, that's what she's going to get. All right, well, let me get in touch with Slade and see what I can draft up. Entertainment law is not my specialty, but I'll get some expert advice. Good. Very good. Just make sure you don't tell anyone why you want it. Discretion above all things. I know that's not your strongest suit. Give it a try, though. Yes. Ask Miss Schmidt to wait, would you please? Miss Schmidt. Now I know why I didn't want to talk to you, why I was angry with you. Three days ago, you told me you were trying to get her out of town. Now you're spending all kinds of time with her. She shows up here at the office. What the hell has changed well, around I'd here? I'd rather not go into all that right now. Tell you what, I'll jump right on that contract and get back to you. How's that? How's that? That's typical. Excuse me, weren't you asked to wait? I used to wait, but I gave it up, along with my home in Palm Springs. Hello, Cece. I really enjoyed your party the other night, and I uh, hope you got my thank you note. Yes, I did. Excuse me. All the votes have not been tallied yet, but so far you're running neck and neck with Leona Helmsley for the Miss Popularity Award. Well, I hope that you didn't tell your father about our little secret. Not yet. Well, don't. And I don't want you walking out on me like that again, either. You might have deduced from that that I didn't want to be around you. So why are you coming to my office? I brought you a little present. It's a tape recorder. I want you to record a petition for divorce. On this. Now. Of course, I can't force you to. But I really don't think that prison blue is Julia's color, do you? Brandon, what are you doing home from school? I live here. And where else should I be when I'm out of school? Brandon, that's not an answer. Are you expelled or just cutting? Gina, he really is just like you. You both forgot. He wrote me an excuse so I could go to Los Angeles with Ethan. He's going to take me to the Lakers game. Remember? He gave me tickets for my birthday. Right. I forgot. Oh, dear. What's wrong? Oh, you didn't change your mind, did you? No, I didn't change my mind. But things have changed. Ethan's not going to be able to take you to Los Angeles. How come? Is he sick? No. No, he's not sick. Ouch! Oh, is that a hangnail? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and soak it. Brandon, oh, Laura's sick. She's in the hospital. And Ethan's going to have to stay with her until she gets better. So he's not going to be around much anymore. What happened to her? She's going to be all right. It's just that Ethan's time is going to be all tied up and... He won't be around for a while. A long while. What about you? Will you be seeing him? No. We decided that it was 
better if we didn't see each other. And, uh, well, when Laura gets better, maybe... No. No, probably not. The only time we're gonna see Ethan is on television. I'm sorry. Don't be sad. You stopped seeing people before, but you always find somebody new. Anyway, I didn't want to tell you this, but he wasn't as good as Keith. You're the only man I need in my life. Would you hate it too much if I took you to the game instead of Ethan? Hate it? That would be great. I don't know. You might be bored. I don't know very much about basketball. I could teach you on the way. And how could I be bored with such a great date to go with? Oh, sweetheart. I can tell in a couple of years you're going to be breaking hearts right and left yourself. Well, I'm not sure I want to do that. No. And no one's going to break your heart either. Because if she tries, I'll break her neck. I love you. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> Give me one of those. Hey! <laughs> you don't come by here much anymore. What's the occasion? The fact that I don't come by here much anymore. <laughs> oh. You want to sit down? No, no, I can't stay long. Aha! What's on your ever active mind, Cece? Have you uh, seen or talked to Mason recently? Yeah, he was here this morning to see Samantha. You must be very aware that something is wrong. Well, he was acting peculiar, but that's par for Mason's course, isn't it? I mean, if tomorrow I find out he ordered me an elephant, well, uh, everything would make sense. So you don't think there's anything unusual about it this time, huh? Well, he was a little cloak and dagger. He wanted me to check my signature on something, and then he wouldn't show me what it was. Then he went out to the garage for some undisclosed reason, and, and he wanted me to change the locks on the doors. Change the locks? Why, why do he want you to do that? Oh, he said something about protecting me from Tunnell's gangsters, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm sure there's something going on. I just don't know how bad it is. Did he say anything to you? Not much. If you want my guess, I think Sasha's involved somehow. I'd really rather not hear that. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I don't mean what you think I mean. I mean, I think Sasha's holding something over him. Is she threatening him? All I know is that about a week, for a week now, he's been trying everything in his power to get her out of town. All of a sudden, he's holding onto her arm. I mean, something's very strange. I mean, he has an erratic side. I don't think he's going to make a 180-degree turn, do you? It's hardly that. He and Sasha have a history, you know, of hanging on each other's whoa, whoa, arms. Stop. That's a long time ago. I haven't seen anything remotely resembling affection between the two of them. Look, I'm worried about him, seriously. See, see, I don't want to go prying and make a fool out of myself, and I don't really want to get hurt anymore. I don't blame you for that. All right. For the time being, I would do what he advised. I would uh, change the locks and I would check with the bank. Cece, what about you? I know what I have to do. Talk to you later. When my boyfriend invited me for pasta, he served Chianti. I said, grazie. He served fettuccine. I said, grazie. He served grated topping. I said, hold your horses, bucko. See, some grated toppings are only two-thirds cheese and one-third fats and fillers. But Kraft is 100% grated Parmesan cheese. So you see, there's grazie and there's not so grazie. Kraft 100% grated Parmesan for 100% great Parmesan taste. Mmm. Wow. Hey, who's coming for dinner? Princess Di? No, just some guy with no soccer tonight. What do we celebrate? A daughter with no gymnastics tonight and a husband with no meeting tonight. The Joy Shine always shows you care. Joy's clean rinsing formula removes dishwater film and rinses so brilliantly, nothing's left on dishes but the shine. Laura, I thought it was just you and me tonight. It is. Nothing dishes out a brighter shine than clean rinsing Joy. When you really want to clean. Really want to disinfect. Really want to deodorize. Every 
everything so clean. Use Broad Spectrum Pine Sol Liquid because you really care about clean. My granddaddy made sausage in a tub like that. I'd grind and he'd mix. I thought it was the best tasting sausage in the world. Might have been. That old man taught me a lot, and I sure hope I didn't let any of it go to waste. Introducing Hershey's Genuine Chocolate Drink with that unmistakable Hershey taste. Chocolate box from Hershey. So we're gonna drive down to LA, have lunch someplace, and then I thought I'd take Brandon to Century City and buy him some new school clothes. Have dinner someplace wonderful and go to the game. Mom, can we skip the shopping part? Whatever you want. What are you staring at? You and that jacket. Mom, are you really sure you wanna do this? I mean, you don't have to go just for me. No, I want to go. I want a good excuse to yell my lungs out. You can see us on TV. We'll wave. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you if I might be able to stay here. You know, uh, Mac and me in that trailer gets to be too much of a good thing. Sure, you can stay. Just don't eat all the peanut butter like you did last time. Bye, Phyllis. Have fun, sweetie. Five percent? She can do better than that. Hmm. I think it's very sweet of you to be my substitute breakfast date. Thank you. Well, there may be no free lunch anymore, but a free breakfast is always welcome. Uh -huh. You know, I saw the most incredible thing this morning. I saw Cece Capwell reading your script. He asked. After all, he's your husband, right? No, he's not my husband. That's all right. He forgets that fact himself. He liked it, Stephen. He actually liked it. Really? Which is amazing, considering he won't read anything unless it's an article with him as the star of the article. Seems to be taking quite an interest all of a sudden. You don't think he would uh, interfere with making the film, do you? Interfere how? You know, I can't seem to figure out what your relationship is with him. I mean, uh, you're divorced, but you see him all the time, and you talk about him all the time. Well, we've had, spent a lot of time together. We've lived together a lot of our lives, and we have children together. You still love them? Yes, I do. And it's impossible for the two of us to live together. There are people like that. You've probably heard about them. You've probably written about them. I get the feeling Cece would like it better if you did live with them. Oh, uh, maybe he thinks he would, but trust me, he really wouldn't. What does all this have to do with our film? I told you, I'm worried. Cece might start thinking the film's gonna take you even further away from him, and uh, because of that, he might try to interfere. He knows how important this is to me. Don't worry, I'll handle it. What? What? You're staring at me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you look at me, I get the feeling that I'm in front of a camera. I'm sorry. It's just sometimes when I look at you, it's like I'm looking at the character I wrote. I suppose it's not too puzzling since I wrote it with you in mind. <laughs> you know, it is very rare that we both see her and this project in the very same way. That's why I've always had so much trouble working with other people in the past, why I've always had to have total control. You're directing and you're producing from your script. You should have control. I should. And I will. Do you think it would be a good idea to get a security system put on tape? Well, I can send you some literature on what we sell if you want. Yeah, that would be a good idea, thanks. Glad to. All right, I'm done with the doors, and uh, Mr. Curtis said he'd send you a bill. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I got over here as fast as I can. What's going on? Having the locks changed. The locks changed? I suppose our midnight trysts are over. This is no joking matter, Bunny. Although I'm midnight tryst with you, I'm sure it's no joke either. Well, you sound upset on the phone. What's wrong? It's about Sasha. Have you heard somebody implying they're a thicker sauce than ragu? Well, the truth always comes crashing down. 
ragu thick and hearty spaghetti sauce. If you want thick, rich taste, it's the thickest you can buy. And that's the truth. Pons. In my family, we've always used it. Now Pons has made its first water rinsable cold cream. It removes the dirt soap leaves behind. Pond's water rinsable cleanser cleans like no soap can. Nobody but this man could make an oat cereal that tastes this good. After all, breakfast is what he knows best. Quaker Oat Squares. Here is the rich, nutty taste of toasted whole grain oats with a hint of brown sugar. Crunchy little squares that stay crunchy in milk and sure taste good. In the bowl or even out of the box, oats as delicious as only he could make them. Quaker Oat Squares, from the man who knows breakfast best. At Lucky, wherever you look, you'll save. A few cents here, a few cents there. And even more with key buy savings like these. For a new twist on refreshment, try Tropicana Twisters in six delicious fruit combinations. And check out this great price on hearty 9-ounce craft frozen entrees in five varieties. With lower prices overall every time you shop, you'll save more than just a drop in the bucket at Lucky. When people first see Airwick Crystal Air air freshener, they say, Ooh. But Crystal Air works so beautifully in places where you have the toughest odors. After that, it's, <sighs> it's ah in the kitchen. Ah. ah, in the bathroom. Crystal Air works beautifully. Ah. Lens crafters made my state-of-the-art glasses in just under an hour, so I could see better and perform better fast. Lens crafters puts the whole lab right in the store to custom craft your top quality glasses in about an hour. Call Lens Crafters at 1-800-522-LENS. He once thought their love had no limits. It's a love I can't remember, Kim. Let me remind you. I want you so badly, Mrs. Donovan. I've never wanted you more, Shane. The power of this love is worth remembering. I love you. Oh, okay. The romance is back on Days of Our Lives. How did things go at the polo club? I think they'll find room for me. How, uh, how much is the new member fee? Just a mere 50,000. I thought we were going to be economizing mm -hmm. now, sir. Small economies never pay for themselves. Small expenditures can. Now, the next thing is I must get to meet with C.C. Keppel himself. I must get to know him better. I want to know what's going on. What's going on? I'm with Sasha and Mason. Oh, that. Yes, that. He's making a 180-degree turn here, and I want to know why. No, he's not. He's still out of his mind for you. And you still won't give him the time of day, so nothing's changed. Yes, I know things are a little strained between Mason and myself, but he bought her a bar. He bought her half a bar. She's my partner. All right, half a bar. He wouldn't do that even if she was his mistress. She's not his mistress. Maybe you're unaware, although I don't know how you possibly could be at this point, but the two of them have this history together, you Listen, know? Julia, I got eyes, okay? I can see. But history is history. God forbid anyone should hold my history against me. I think a lot of people have misunderstood Sasha. All right. What did she do? She bat her little doe eyes at you while she squeaked out some gondolier love song? She does not squeak. She happens to have an exquisite voice. You stay away from her. She's trouble. Right now, I'm concerned about the trouble that she's causing Mason. Now, now you say she's not his mistress. Why? How do you know? Because I see them together a lot lately. And when they're talking, I don't see love in their eyes. I don't even see attraction. I just see pure hate. The residue and remainder of the proceeds are to be considered community property and divided jointly. All other covenants to the contrary notwithstanding, this document shall formally bind both parties. I don't entirely approve about the part about community property. I don't want you giving things away to Julia wholesale. Sasha, there is a law in California about community property. Your ignorance of that stuns me. Change it. The law? Change what you dictated. Let's not even raise the issue. Strike the last paragraph. 
The balance of mutual assets to be apportioned according to whatever division is deemed appropriate by the parties at issue. Customary close. If you still don't like that, I suggest you go divorce somebody else. Well, no, I like the thrust of that much better. And you too, when you're agreeable. The balance of mutual assets to be apportioned according to whatever division is deemed appropriate by the parties at issue. Customary close. Ida Glickman writes, yeah, I've seen the commercials, but does Crispix really stay crunchy and tasty in milk? Okay, Ida, you want more proof? Pull up a chair, get out your stopwatch. We'll be right back. How much longer? Two, three days, weeks. On a morning like this, you're not thinking about your new Minute Maid. Mom, where's the glasses? In the cabinet. Where's the cabinet? Minute Maid Pulp Free is for people who love orange juice but just don't like the pulp. More, please. Sure, pal. Mr. Picky wants more? What? Oh, nothing. There's always a Minute Maid that's just right for you. Bye, honey. Bye, Dad. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Minute Maid Pulp Free. The minute you taste it, you'll know. If you had sensitive skin like I do, which moisturizer would you choose? One for sensitive skin or one created for sensitive skin by the people whose skin care treatment has kept more faces looking younger, smoother, sexier than any other in the world. I know which one I'd choose. Color-free, fragrance-free, oil of Olay for sensitive skin. Grow old gracefully. Are you kidding? Keebler? Yes, officer? Can you vouch for this elf? Well... Caught him smuggling melted chocolatey filling out of your factory. Cree. Pretty clever. <laughs> he hid it inside this chocolate chip cookie. Oh, you mean Keebler Magic Middles. We hide lots of delicious melted chocolatey filling inside Chris cookies. Hmm. Try one. Incredible. So he's not the front man for a fudge smuggling operation? No, sir. He's our middle man. Magic Middles from the Keebler Elves in three delicious flavors. We're back. Now I'll dig down through all that milk. Listen up, Ida. Still crispy, and the toasted crisp shape keeps it tasty. A triumph for Crispix, satisfaction for Ida. Crispix. Crisp that just won't quit. Wednesday night, go behind the scenes with NBC News and Tom Brokaw. Spend a day in the life of the White House. A rare and intimate portrait of our president on the job, Wednesday.